वेलकम टू सुपर मनी दिस कुड पर हैव्स बी अ लॉन्गेस्ट वीडियो सो लेट मी बी टेलिंग यू दैट अप फ्रंट यू आर अबाउट थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सेवन ईयर्स ऑफ एज एंड यू सडनली हैव टेकन टू रनिंग रनिंग इज नाउ अ वेरी सेक्सी न्यू हॉबी फॉर लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु आर अराउंड फोर्टी बिकॉज दैट्स अ टाइम वेन यू रियलाइज दैट यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू रीच द कॉर्नर ऑफिस और थिंग्स लाइक दैट एंड यू डिजाइडेड चलो लाइफ में कुछ और करते हैं सो यू वॉन्ट टू रन सो यू गो टू अ बिग रनर फेमस रनर हुज बिन रनिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स अ वेरी नाइस रनर एंड यू गो एंड टेल हिम दैट आई वॉन्ट टू बी एबल टू रन एज फास्ट एज यू डू एंड ही लुक्स एट यू एंड सेज ओके हेयर इज अ रनिंग प्लान यू रन थ्री डेज अ वीक टू डेज यू डू जिम ट्रेनिंग एंड देन दैट गिव्स यू टू डेज ऑफ रेस्ट so you take a rest on thursday and you take rest on sunday so you will have it uh, done better and uh, so sir uh, when can i run a marathon and he's chicken a bag saying uh, how much do you run now oh not much i i walk a little uh, how much do you walk about uh, 20 20 25 minutes in the in the night after dinner uh well that's that's not a great preparation for running the marathon and uh, what about your eating patterns you don't look very thin you have a big paunch uh, uh no i i eat late i reach home only at 8:39 then i have dinner at about 10 10:30 then i go for a walk and by 11:15 i'm in bed uh sir you will need some changes in your lifestyle and you will have to oh it's very difficult my stress in the office and all that is very high so i want to run by uh, i want to beat stress by running fantastic so this is the plan uh, no but uh, tell me if i can run more every time when i go out to run you are asking me to start at 6 o'clock in the morning and run till 7 uh, what happens if i start at uh, 5:15 and run till 7 so there will be one almost one hour extra Uh, on three days so and also on the gym days i can do little more you 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 ask me to do this upper body thing and all uh, if i remove that upper body and do more of lower body uh, will i be able to run the marathon uh, quicker so that guy get looks at you he is exasperated he is about 70 years of age been a very good runner for the last 30 40 years he says look if you do all this you will screw up badly you will uh, fail in your race you will have injuries please understand running is not just about going to the gym and running more it is about running it is about diet it is about change of uh, lifestyle it is about uh, what you eat when you eat uh, how much you eat what you avoid uh, so straight away you have to cut down fried carbon um, your carbs Uh, you have to reduce carbs you have to re- avoid fried you have to cut down sugar and uh, you have to exercise according to this there is no point in you trying to do something more faster it doesn't happen that way now cut to another journey where uh, you are traveling by bus you are hanging out you are praying to god that uh, you should be able to get your other foot in uh, and uh, maybe you should uh, be able to Uh, stand very comfortably so after some time people move in and uh, suddenly both your feet are there and you are holding on to the bar and uh, now you are slightly better off now you wish that uh, maybe you should go up and there should be two people behind you so that even if there is a sudden break you don't fall well that also happens at the next next stop you go up a little further now you are standing a little more comfortably there you are not being crushed on all sides uh and now you want to now, now you want a place to sit so it's a very crowded bus so there are four, uh, long seats of five four people five people and one uh, person says okay sit next to me and so little bit you could uh, put half your leg in there and you are still hanging on your holding then slowly somebody gets up and you get a more comfortable seat and uh, now you are saying oh i sh- i wish i get a window seat now you get a window seat and that crowd also has uh, reduced in the bus and uh, you find that you are on the sunny side and uh, you don't want that side so then you are able to find a you you hoping for a seat on the other side and that also you find you sit there and then suddenly you find that you have reached your destination now what has happened is in this journey uh, which could be from uh, either a bus or you could take a maruti 800 to a mercedes uh, s class in your whole journey if you are constantly thinking of uh, if i do this it will be better right so you are not enjoying the journey same thing for investing 
you think that by doing these uh, following things i will become as rich as charlie munger or uh, warren buffett please understand it's to become like warren buffett you have to start at 11 and you have to have 80 years of compounding which nobody is going to get right so today for somebody to be able to do that is not going to be possible so you cannot be like buffett you cannot be like uh, uh, mr mukesh ambani or mr gautam adani you just can't be right but you have to enjoy the process. You cannot uh, keep on worrying about what will happen. Uh, I am not happy with this Maruti 800. I need a uh, I need a bigger car. So you get a you get a Honda City, then you get a Toyota Corolla, then you get a Mercedes. At no stage are you happy because uh, with the day you bought a Mercedes, your neighbor bought a higher uh, costing Mercedes, or he bought a uh, he bought an Audi, and it was more expensive, right? So these things will continue to happen. So you have to enjoy the journey of investing, not think, oh, I'm going to reach this goal. Yes, you're going to reach this goal. On reaching the goal, there will be happiness, there will be satisfaction. Actually, on reaching the goal, that there is not so much of satisfaction. It is something like this. Your client calls you and says, okay, I'm going to, I need to invest X amount of money. Now that is say 30% of your current uh, assets under management. So you think that's a big amount. So I, I'm assuming you're a financial agent and so, uh, the day you do the paperwork and you submit it and you get the commission credit or AUM credit, whatever, you are not so happy. You are happy only on the day that you heard it, right? Please understand the information that you are going to do this is far greater pleasure giving than the actual process of doing it. That's just paperwork. You have to either do the paperwork or you have to do it online or whatever. Somehow you do it. So enjoying the whole process of how you reach there, enjoying the process of investing, uh, you need to understand that a, that good running means running, exercising, sleeping, diet, everything. So you need to do research, you need to decide what to buy, you need to sit tight during periods when it is not doing well. So to take, to become a Buffett, it takes 80 years. So first of all, accept that. It will, you cannot say, uh, I want to pick a Buffett in 20 years. It's not going to happen. The power of compounding is in the power of N. It takes a long time and N is in the numerator so n is very important r. whatever you do to r you cannot substitute it for n you yes of course at some uh, magnificent number it will be at uh, 320 percent return per annum uh, in uh, 20 years you can become like uh, buffett what buffett did in 18 years uh, or in 81 years right that's easy to say but where are you going to get that kind of r so first of all accept that it will only be a reasonable r uh, what is in your control is N. You start early, you invest more. People will do anything except investing more and for a longer period to create wealth. And these are the only two things that you have to do. Start early, like uh, my book says, uh, invest rupees 40 a day, but every year keep increasing it by 10%, right? So 40 rupees a day, then 44, then 44, add four more, it becomes 48, then it will become uh, 48 plus five, or four, it will become 53, and 53 plus five, 58, then 58 plus six, 64. So the compounding happens even in the amount that you're investing, and if you do that, you will create wealth, right? So that whole process journey, you have to understand, you have to enjoy, you have to look at the statement and say, oh, now the market is not doing well, but I'm getting more units. Uh, oh, the market is doing very well, but I know that I can't slack, so I will continue to do this. And then, oh, this time, these two, three months, I'm not going to be able to pay in, that's fine. These things will happen in the journey. If you think the journey is going to be perfect, that means something is wrong with you. With you. It, you have not done any journey, right? So when you sit down and plan, it looks very easy. The numbers look very easy. Oh, itna karega to itna, I'll have 20 crores, 40 crores, 100 crores, whatever. Actual doing it is difficult. Preparing yourself for the journey, saying this is what will happen, this is what will happen, and being prepared for it is the process. So enjoy the journey, but enjoy the journey and under keep your eye on the goal and don't feel miserable. Know when to stop, when to average, what to do. Understanding all that, that is the process of investing and that if you enjoy, it's just logical that wealth will be created. You don't have to do it. Wealth will get created because you have mastered the 
process that is it. So, the process is more important, amount is important, when you start is important, how long you do is important, not interrupting that is important. The wealth creation is just the end uh, result, it has bound to happen, it has happened for everybody, it will happen for you. Compounding formula is very old, right? So, it will work, it worked for your grandfather, it would have worked for your father, it will work for you. It is as simple as that. Thank you.